Hey, good morning, everybody. Spike, heading out to Uber Drive. It's Monday, September 12th, about 8.30 in the morning, exactly 8.30. Uh, so, let me turn on the AC, it's getting a little warm. Actually, I'm gonna pull up here in the shade and uh, roll down my windows. It's a nice, cool morning. Leave my AC off. I'm on battery mode. About three quarters of battery. Ooh, that sun's bright back there. Maybe that's not so smart. Let me see if I can find a better place. That, that's actually reflecting off the wall there. Dang. I'm gonna turn around and see if I can't get a better. Not so much background light. Too much background light. Bright sunny morning. We had a cold front blow through last night. It's 74 degrees this morning. <laughs> Probably get high about 90 instead of 95. There you go. That's a little bit better. You can see me. You might hear the car wash in the background. I roll up the window on that side so it don't come in so loud. So let's say what we got going here. So uh, I just first thing this morning do the three S's: shower, shave, and something else. <laughs> anyway, uh, headed out. Got uh, to the first thing I did this morning. The car wash opened at eight o'clock, uh, and I do a full car wash, not not the top of the line one, but the basic full car wash, which uh, gets the, the the floors clean, the inside wind windows wiped down of that you know that haze that you tend to get on the inside of windows. We get that really. We get that a lot down here in the coastal areas. That sea breeze has a lot of salty air moisture in it, so it tends to fog up the windows. So I uh, uh, get the windows clean, get get the, everything, the floors clean, first thing for the week. I have a, a monthly pass, so that gives me $5 off. Now, inflation is taking effect at the car wash. The car wash prices have gone up by $5 on everything. So now it's costing me $5 more a week. But do you think Uber's going to pay you $5 more a week? Fuck no. So first thing I did uh, after I'm coming out of the car wash, I turned on Lyft. Of course, uh, you know, Lyft, they said, okay, here's a ride uh, 15 mi minutes away. And then they said, you don't want that? Okay, here's one 17 miles away. Now they just gave me one 13 minutes away, but it's a 45 minute ride. It's probably going to Bush Intercontinental Airport. So I'm going to head over to pick up that ride. It just came in. Whew, it's down in Arcola. So uh, I'll check back in after that. Try to see if I get a good recording on that ride. That's my seatbelt dinging. I better buckle up. It's gonna be a long day. I wanna try to get uh, to at least $200 a day for the next five days, make $1,000 this week. Last week was pretty light, only made about $600. <clears throat> That's before expenses. Uh, I had a lot going on last week uh, around the house. A lot of contractors coming in and doing some things. So I had to kind of be there to make sure they did what I wanted. But this week I don't have much lined up. So as it stands right now, I'm gonna try to make $1,000 this week. That's uh, gross. You take 10% out for gas. Gas has been dropping down a little bit. Of course, I, the uh, plug-in hybrid I got helps. Right now I'm standing at 43.3 miles per gallon. That's not bad, that's not bad. It's a plug-in hybrid, so I'm in the plug-in mode right now. So if I pull it up, uh, 
just going to the car wash, I used up 40% of that battery. So I'm at 61% left on the battery, and that's probably get me, uh, let's see. Tell me here. Hang on just a second. Well, it's not too, okay. There we go. I got 10 miles left on that battery. So the battery, uh, the plug-in battery, only gets you about 20 miles. Seven, they say 17 miles. That goes for pretty much all the plug-in hybrids. Uh, and what you lose in exchange for that 17 miles is a lot of storage space because my trunk space is real small because it's all battery. Okay, school zones are still open, 25 miles an hour, so I gotta watch that. Now, however, if I uh, charge it up and I drive 100 miles, I'll get 48 miles per gallon. If I charge it up and drive uh, 200 miles, I'll get oh, 43 miles per gallon. If I charge it up and drive 300 miles, I'm down to 40 miles per gallon. So it, it affects your, your overall miles per gallon, but it depends on how much you drive. So that's how that plug-in hybrid works. Uh, if you want to do a plug, oh shoot, 25, 25. I've got to watch my speed, 25 miles an hour. So you got to watch your, uh, if, you, if, if you're thinking about a uh, plug-in hybrid, you got to consider the loss of storage space for baggage. If you got to use it for uh, Uber and Lyft. So I decided I want to try to do a little bit of lift driving today. So I'm in lift mode and my phone's going down. i to plug in my phone. Lift rides are far and few between and they're always at a far, uh, long, long pickups. Uh, so anything uh, 15 minutes or miles away, I'm not taking it. Uh, it's just not worth it. However, this is a uh, 13 mile or 13 minute to go pick them up, but it's a 47 minute ride, they say. So th that is a well worth it. They don't tell you where it's dropping off like uh, Uber does. They only tell you uh, how far it is, which is not very helpful. You can kind of just guess. So if it's a if I'm picking somebody up down in Fresno, Texas, that's uh, south of Houston, and taking them up to Bush Intercontinental Airport, that's about a 47 minute ride. So that's my guess where we're going. That would be my best guess. So I'm gonna terminate this video right now and uh, I'll try to link onto it after uh, the next ride, the next good ride anyway. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm at the uh, hotel. Lyft isn't aware of where the hotel is, so it's trying to send me to the gas station next door. So it's one of those things where it's a new facility and uh, it's not on the map yet. Uh, got to teach people to enter the name of the business rather than the address because it works a lot better. Still no sign of anybody. Uh, I told them I'd be here in a minute and uh, then I told them I'm here. And um, I think I see somebody down here with some red hair that might be. I uh, can't even say the name. Hey, I'm going to drop off my key right here, okay? All right. Is it a plastic key? You don't need to drop those things, though. Huh? You don't need to drop them off. Oh, I don't need to? No. Oh, I thought I need... I'm not from down here. I didn't know. 
No, uh, all the hotel. All the hotel. You just leave the key in the room. It's deactivated after you leave anyway. I mean, if you want to drop it off, it's okay. No, it's they don't care. That's part of the part of the rent, you know. I had my windows down because it's nice and cool out, but I'll, I don't want to blow your air. So I'm going to roll the windows up and turn the AC on for you. How's that? And uh, let's see where you're going. I'm going to the airport. I figured Terminal C. So you got to put your headphones on? Uh, no, I was talking to my friend. Okay. All right. Okay, I dropped that passenger off. She was on the phone the whole time talking with her girlfriend. I, I guess she's from South Carolina. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> she had a vocabulary about uh, four words. Like... Uh, you know, and be like, and, uh, you know, them bitches, them hoes, that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> if you understand, I don't expect a tip out of that one. Uh, uh, I would say she's a uh, pure ghetto, but hey, I got the ride. It was an hour long ride. Paid thirty four dollars and twenty eight cents. So basically, uh, that's fifteen dollars an hour. So when Uber and Lyft tell you you're making twenty dollars an hour, they're they're fucking lying. Excuse my language. So you take fifteen dollars an hour minus fuel, minus oil, minus tires, minus car washes, minus this, minus that, and you're making $10 an hour. So don't believe the crap that people are telling you you're making good money with Uber and Lyft. You're really not. I figured I'd make at least 40 from Lyft, but uh, some reason I didn't make any, I didn't make the $34 on that trip. That, uh, that's kind of disappointing to me. So the other thing I did is when I arrived at, uh, before I arrived at the drop off at Bush Intercontinental Airport, I turned off any future rides. You just swipe up from the bottom and you turn off the rides. Uh, so you just say it, uh, last ride or cancel the next turn off rides or something. I don't know what it says. But anyway, I turn off the rides because I don't pick up at Bush Intercontinental Airport. I refuse to pick up at that airport. It is disgustingly uh, messed up right now. Uh, the construction has got things so screwed up, you can't find anybody. You don't know where to pick anybody up. Uh, not only that, I don't have the trunk space to carry three people in bags, if that's the situation. One person with a carry-on, I can handle. But, you know, if I get, if I get some people that, uh, with three people with big bags that should be calling for an XL, but they call for an X, they don't, you know, I'm screwed. And I have to cancel the ride. So, which, go, which you know, counts against you. So that's, that's the other reason. But the, the main reason is, for me, is the airport is uh, in total shambles right now, so, and it's very difficult to find anybody. So that's uh, that was uh, this morning getting started. I'm gonna paste these three videos together and then uh, upload them, and then I'll see what I catch next.